We're into Denver, Phoenix, then LA in the next five, six days, whatever it is. I, I actually think I packed accurately, but I didn't check any weather, and I know we're going to a handful of different climates. So I just have everything. I have sweatshirts, I have bathing suits, I have shorts, I have t-shirts, I have long sleeve shirts, I have long sleeve t-shirts, I have sweaters, I have uh, uh, fucking, what's the word you to see? Cashmere socks, I have no show socks, I have uh, fucking boots, I have fucking sneakers, I have everything. It is, I am prepared, if this plane crashes in the Andes, we're fine, I got it. I'm prepared for fucking everything. Denver, West Coast, a little bit worried about that altitude thing. Dan Soto had me shook. I feel like I'm gonna need to get an oxygen tank or something to be on stage there. We're going from oh, we Denver to Phoenix to LA. Um, for your boy who is Couch Clancy, this is like, might as well be like climb, climbing Everest. So, leg one begins today. Let's see if I survive. Wait, you know where we're going. We're going Broncos country. <gasps> Broncos country, let's ride. I got nothing. I'm excited to go to the West Coast. Uh, I'm a little nervous. You know, no, I'm excited to meet Jackie's family and embarrass the shit. What? Aren't they coming? No, but did they tell you that they're coming? No, because I would they, that they're they coming. didn't, but it, if I'll deal. In mid -air. Well, don't just blame me. You got sick too, you said. Well, I didn't say I had the flu. I said I felt a little crappy after the flight. Yeah. He's got the flu. I got, I mean, I, that's why I asked I you how you were feeling this morning, because I, I heard the sniffles, and I was like, this guy's sick. Really? I, I felt, felt, I felt cool going on the plane. And then, and then, and then we there. both housed our short well, to, to the point where we, they made a comment. <laughs> like, I guess you guys liked the food, didn't you? Like, we were like, all right. <laughs> like, like we were, like it was our first meal. And like, I, I'd eaten 40 minutes before. <laughs> I was not, I, I didn't want to eat. I had a full belly. I was like, well, might, might as well. <laughs> had a ball of burrata and some short ribs. Let's go. We got some Aleve. We'll be all right. But my head is banging right now. Yeah. All right. That's why you give yourself a deck, you know? Yeah. Get in, get acclimated. Mm -hmm. I mean, let's be honest, this is like where, where your level's at like all the time. This is usual, but like the last few days I've been feeling great. I like that. That was good. That was fun? Yeah. What'd you do for that? Do, do more of that. I just, just fucking chilled. <laughs> Before this and before I went to the, the gyms on the fifth floor, before I went down to the gym, I was like, you know what, I should just do some push-ups to see if I have it in me. And I did two push-ups. I was like, nah, no, oh, no. Today. <laughs> that's not good. I think this will get me. This will get me going. This will give me the energy. Well, he's chomping at the bit. He's like, he's like shaking. Like I got, I got something for the podcast. I got something for the show. And usually when he does that, he comes in super hot. So we'll see what it is. And the whole gang goes to lunch. And there's a group text. Says, hey, let's go get lunch here. I was like, look, I'm not gonna make it. So I text Kevin on the side. And or Kevin actually might even ask. No, no, I think I texted you. I was like, can you grab me a sandwich? And, uh, and Kevin says, yeah, absolutely. And then he sent me the menu about 20 minutes later. I probably responded to it 20 minutes after that because I was in and out of consciousness, as I said. And I looked at the menu, quite the menu, 17-page menu. Yeah. Uh, it was like it's a Cheesecake a, Factory like a, type yeah, deal. Yeah, it's a diner type spot. So yeah. And I, I say to Kevin, Kevin tells me that there's chili, and he knows I'm a big chili guy. So Kevin says, uh, there's chili on the menu too. And I went, oh, dope. Um, let me get a French dip sandwich. And you know what? Throw in a chili too. But then, because I'm sick, I noticed chicken salad, chicken soup on the menu. And I went, you know what? Make it a chicken soup instead. And this motherfucker dropped the French dip sandwich and brought me back two soups. 
I said to him, in addition to or just the soup? I, I meant like ju just the soup. I, dude, here's this, this text. This is on you. This, this is not I on me. Literally this is, said, I've texted, to I've texted multiple people being like, I'm not the crazy one here, right? And everyone's I, like, no, he's a fucking lunatic. I said, to show up to a hotel. And I, I want to be clear about something. And I want to be clear about something. It was a very nice gesture. That, oh, this isn't this isn't taken away from I that. said, in the, I because I literally was like, I don't know if he wants everything. He said, he said, get me a French dip soup and then, and then chicken. And then he said, you know what? Just make it a chicken soup. I said, I said, I said actually, you know what? A chicken soup, okay. please. And then I that said, would, of course, I would mean switch the fucking soups out. When a sick person <laughs> says, you know what? Just get soup. You, I think, say, you think a sick person wants to down there's a no, fucking fat roast beef sandwich I, right now? Or he came to his senses and said, you know what? Get me chicken soup. And then me, being the being the smart person that I am, thinking, well, a normal person would pay me, maybe just want chicken soup. But John is a fucking dumpster garbage disposal, <laughs> so let me clarify. No, I wanted and a I soup said, and sandwich for lunch. To, this is a, it's a completely said, normal order. I said... Here, no, I'm, I'm going to no read it. I'm going to read what it. your order is, when someone says, in addition to, or just the soup, and you say the soup, I, I, then I, I'm going to drop the first half of the order. So we're here at Denver Comedy Works. I've already fucking botched the whole thing. The whole That's thing. a botch job. Oh, That's a botch right. job. Botched. So we ordered some food. I have a sore throat, so I did a little grandpa's cough medicine. Got to so I was like, can you just bring me like a single finger of wheatness, the wheat, meat, whiskey. I've had seven already today. That's a joke. Um, and she's like, that's great. My name's Natalie. And then no one in the room said anything. And when she walked out, I was like, that was kind of rude for none of us to say our names to her. So then when she came back with the whiskey, I was like, by the way, I'm John. And, but the whiskey's really hot. Like the glass is really hot. The whiskey itself actually is. Really hot. When I touch the glass, I mean, it still is, feel it. It is like, oh, that's hot. It's a, it's a hot glass. And that's what I was putting down. I went, ooh, hot. But she was still in the room walking out. <laughs> like she like, he introduced herself, said, I'm John. And then he went, ooh, hot. <laughs> she went a thousand percent things. God, why am I such a fucking woman? City, one of our best shows in a long time. We love you, Denver. Thank you. All right, just wrapping up in Denver. Denver was fucking awesome last night. One of our best shows so far. Now we're heading over to Phoenix, Colleen's hometown. I don't know where she just ran away to. Uh, and then it's on to LA for Jackie's hometown. It's not my hometown, but I'm from there. Well, I have USC, fight on. Phoenix, we are inside of you. Uh, the bar has been raised. Denver was a show and a half. So uh, I think it was our best show in a long time. And the crowd was wild. These shows really are, you know, we got to put on our show, but when the crowd is into it and drunk, uh, that's when these things really pop off. So let's Dude, hope before, that Phoenix Before we took off from Denver, I saw like, people tweeting that they were drinking already. For the show? For the show. Ooh, baby. And it's an 8 o'clock start. Usually we're like a 7 o'clock. People get out of work and they just go right there. Now you're going to have a few happy hour beers in you. Uh, and we can roll off of last night's show. So it's, uh, it's officially, the tour is officially on. Yeah. You know? Showtime in Phoenix. We got Michael Turner opening up for us. Eight o'clock show, so the crowd should be nice and uh, toasty, let's say. We, uh, a couple things on the internet that popped up last minute that we're adding to the show. So, two shows in less than 24 hours. You're basically getting entire new material, and then we'll see what happens in LA. So, who else is giving you three different shows? In a week, let's go. Also, by the way, people are starting to play a little fast and loose with the term brewery because we just ate at a brewery and they didn't brew beer there. So you're not a brewery, you're a restaurant. It's a pretty clear thing, I feel like. Dude, also on top of that, 
uh, they had two bathrooms there. One was for women, one was for all genders. And I happened to be in line behind a gentleman who was none too pleased with that fact. He said, we're getting politically correct with the fucking pissers. Now you gotta be fucking kidding me. Which I think has been going on for about four or five years now. That, that battle's been waging for a, a while. So I think he's just kind of getting a taste now. He didn't like it. He wasn't, he wasn't about it. Uh, so we were at the, at the airport and uh, John has his new joke that he's loving to tell. He said, uh, how many ears does Davy Crockett have? And I said, I don't know how many. And he says, so the first time he did it, he goes, get to the other side. He films it himself and he goes, how many ears does Davy Crockett have? Three years. He has a right ear, a left ear, and a front ear. Nope, not like that. That's not how I say it. Yes, nope, you did. No, no, yes, no. You know, like, you know, he goes, front ear. Nope, not like that either. Well, and a front ear. Yeah. That's how it is. Way okay. better. Way better. So then. So then. Like, I laughed at that. That's funny. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> so, so then I say to him, you know, it would be a funnier, funnier video is if you deliver it to someone and you just say like front ear and I say like, what's a front ear? And then you tell me frontier. So he's like, okay, that's good. That's good. Let's reshoot it. We're on a moving sidewalk and there's the plane that says frontier. And so he's trying to time it right. And he tells me the joke. And like a fucking grandpa can't operate his phone and cr tries to zoom in on Frontier every time he says Frontier. Five times he struck out. It was insane. We were going, we were, we were getting back on the walking sidewalk so that he could do it and he kept fucking it up. It was, he was getting, he was furious with himself. He was like, fuck, why can't I do this? It was, we were, we were causing a scene in the airport off of this Davy Crockett Frontier joke. Great joke. Great joke. I mean, I'm that's, so that's, my, that's my boy up there. I'm so happy that happened. <laughs> That was that was vindication. That was great. I did it after the fucking DC show. So again, I went to sit down and charge my phone. You got a little tear after the DC show. These are the, no, the, the DC show fucking is busted wide open. It was like, it was at the front, which was weird. <laughs> but it is, uh... And they're like baggy pants. Yeah, dude, these are like fucking baggy sweatpants that are like very nice and expensive pants. These are not cheap pants. Kevin was like, are they thrift store pants? People are saying on Twitter right now that they're cheap quality. No, 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 my friend. These are expensive pants. And uh, and I ruined it. Just I don't know, man. It's not that I'm fat. It's not that I'm fat. People are saying that. It's not that I'm fat. Got nothing to do with my weight. Well, we'll get you some new pants in LA. I guess. Maybe I've, I, I'm not fat. It's not a fat. <laughs> thing. Something else. I don't know what it is. Something else is causing me to consistently rip my pants. <laughs> but this is not my weight. <laughs> Yeah, they, they want a shop. They want thrift stores. 
Okay, Melrose Street, but it's closed today. I'll take the bait It's fine. <laughs> cool part of town. And it's the senior citizen with a fucking chair yoga. <laughs> Personally, I want to get to carpeting and floors at discount prices. We're on another Jackie excursion. Uh, and this has kind of always been the case. I guess it's like, fool me once, fool me twice. When she first got here, we were like, your job is to like, get the Airbnb and coordinate. Remember that? We, we told her, like, you got to do the music in the, in the green room and like, do the logistics stuff. And she was always like, cool, I'll do it. And then has never either done it or succeeded ever. So. No, that's not true. But every you, you, you kind of took this one on. Unless, I didn't say anything, did you? Did you say like, I said dinner last got, night. Yeah. I didn't say anything about today. And, and she kind of took it upon herself being like the LA girl and uh, no, 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 no. And then, like, I never... every time as we're walking places she's like here's the thing <laughs> I don't know where we're going and I don't know what we're doing and I don't think you're like it <laughs> oh, yeah. as far as malls go it's by the coolest mall I've ever been to they, oh, that's it's a mall yeah it's the thing the, the, the thing I would say is that a mall is the polar opposite of what we were looking for okay but you wanted shopping and I took you shopping I guess I need so to specify. you wanted food, I took you to McDonald's. Yeah. <laughs> okay. But it's it's a good you know it like I feel like it feels LA. Hundred percent positive we specified like boutique LA type shopping. Okay, well I don't know where that is. <laughs> yeah. Just... yeah, no, we know that. We very clearly know you don't know where that is. Maybe it was worth it just to see this guy. <laughs> oh my goodness. How many pounds? She's like I found a sucker. How many pounds you have? Oh, hundred pounds. Wow, I would have guessed more. She's still big though. Yes, I am the sucker for sure. <laughs> Is this a women's hat? Definitely, right? You look like a flower on bro. Yeah, is that what that is? Flower. Yeah. You'll be a British policeman. Yeah, yeah. You yeah. are a constable or whatever. Hello, governor. Some raspberry slices. You got a watermelon. Let's say five each. Five each. Okay. Oh. That's a lot of slices. <laughs> So I'm like, like this, these things don't get like I want to. I want to bring this into the world. These things don't get the respect. I don't even know what they're called because I don't respect them either. I'm, I'm part of the problem. Oh, they're they're delicious. Delicious. That's it, please. Yes. Oh, we're gonna pomegranate one. Chocolate fudge. Sure. Thanks. Sorry. Is this gonna be like? Um... Mm. And one little. Oh, uh, that's actually pretty good. Okay. Pretty good. Uh, I'll wrap it up here at the Grove, and I'm just happy to be able to say that I did something like truly LA, you know? Like I can go back and be like, I had a truly local experience here in Los Angeles, like the city of angels, man, you know? Like I can really, ch yeah, bucket list, thank you, Jackie. This is my bucket list to go to the mall. This place is fucking insane. I mean, we're in a castle, we're in a castle. We are, we are as close, maybe as we're ever gonna get to the San Francisco Armory right now. This is like fucking, uh, I, I rarely use this phrase, I'm gonna use it right now. This is a fucking cunt hair from the San Francisco Armory. This is, like, look at dude, look at this place. Britney Spence here, she's opened it up for us, it's her and Kevin on stage. This is fucking, I mean look at it. It's fucking insane. <laughs> it is nuts, it's like it was a legitimate castle room right now. They're, we're not allowed to film in the green room. I honestly don't know why. Didn't tell us. But it, it's just like, it's not, I'll be honest, I'll, I'll let you know a little secret about the uh, Masonic Lodge green room. It doesn't look like a room you're not allowed to film in. <laughs> it looks like somebody's office. It's got cool decorations and shit. I don't really understand why you're not allowed to film in it, but we're not allowed to film in it, we're abiding by the rules. Um, but this place is just fucking nuts. I made a, dude, I made a sacrifice when I walked in here. What'd you do? That's not a joke, like, you, you, you did a bad show if I didn't put fucking money in there. <laughs> um, so, I think we're gonna have a great show. I gave five bucks, a lot of ones in there. I threw over a five spot. Uh, a lot of change on the ground too, not me. Five bucks. Coast tour. We finished up here in LA at the Masonic Lodge. Unbelievable week. Three cities, three awesome shows. Thank you to everyone who came out. And if we didn't see you in this tour, we're coming to your city next.